Today, I'm going to show you why GPT-5 is about to change everything. This isn't just another AI update. This is the moment AI becomes smarter than most humans. And here's the crazy part, you're getting it for free. Sam Altman just dropped some insane news that will blow your mind. Plus, I'll show you exactly how to prepare for this right now so you're ready when it drops. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Listen, I need to tell you something that's going to sound absolutely nuts, but it's happening whether we're ready or not. Sam Altman just confirmed that GPT-5 is coming this summer, and when I tell you what this thing can do, you're going to lose your mind. But here's what's really crazy. While everyone's talking about when it's coming, almost nobody's talking about how to actually prepare for it, and that's a massive mistake, because GPT-5 isn't just going to be better than GPT-4. It's going to make GPT-4 look like a calculator compared to a supercomputer. Uh, let me paint you a picture of what's coming. Sam Altman stood in front of a crowd and asked, how many of you think you're going to be smarter than GPT-5? You know how many hands went up? Almost zero. This is the guy who built the thing, and even he doesn't think he's going to be smarter than it. That should terrify you, but it should also excite you, because if you know how to use this thing properly, you're about to have superpowers. But here's what nobody's telling you. The way you're prompting AI right now is going to be completely wrong for GPT-5. I've been studying the patterns. I've been looking at what OpenAI is building. And I can see exactly where this is heading. Most people are going to get left behind because they don't understand what's changing, but not you. Because I'm about to show you exactly how to get ready. First, let me tell you what Sam Altman just revealed about GPT-5. He said it's going to unify everything. No more switching between different models. No more confusion about which AI to use for what task. GPT-5 will just know. Right now, you have to pick between GPT-4 for writing, O1 for reasoning, and different models for different tasks. It's messy, it's confusing, and it's about to be history. GPT-5 will automatically figure out if you need deep reasoning or quick answers. It'll handle text, images, voice, and video all at once. It's like having every AI tool you've ever used rolled into one super intelligent system. But here's the part that's going to change your life. Sam Altman confirmed that the free tier of ChatGPT will get unlimited access to GPT-5. Think about that for a second. The most powerful AI ever created for free, unlimited use. While paid users will get even more powerful versions, everyone gets access to the base model. This isn't some limited trial. This is full access to the future. But here's what I really want you to understand. The people who succeed with GPT-5 won't be the ones who just use it. They'll be the ones who know how to communicate with it properly. And that's where most people are going to fail. Let me show you what I mean. Right now, people are still prompting AI like it's 2023. They're saying things like, act like a marketing expert or pretend you're a copywriter. That worked with earlier models, but it's amateur hour for what's coming. GPT-5 is gonna be so smart that it doesn't need you to pretend it's something else. It needs you to be specific about what you actually want. Here's the first thing you need to understand. Extreme specificity is your new superpower. These models are getting so big and so capable that vague requests actually hurt performance. You need to tell it exactly what you want. Word counts, formats, specific requirements. Don't say, write me a blog post. Say, write me a 1500 word blog post in three sections with H2 headers. Include two case studies, write in a conversational tone for small business owners, and end with three specific action steps. The more specific you are, the better GPT-5 will perform. It's like having an incredibly talented assistant who can do anything, but needs clear instructions. Second thing, context is everything. GPT-4 can handle around 100,000 to 200,000 tokens. That's already huge. But GPT-5, we're talking potentially millions of tokens. That means you can load up massive amounts of context, your entire business strategy, all your brand guidelines, your complete customer research, your whole content calendar. Instead of giving it two sentences about your business, give it everything. The more context you provide, the better results you'll get. Here's what this looks like in practice. Instead of saying, help me write an email, you say, here's our complete brand voice guide. Here's our customer personas. Here's the specific campaign this email is part of. Here's our sales data from the last quarter. Now write an email to our segment of customers who haven't purchased in 60 days. That's the level of context GPT-5 can handle. And when you give it that much information, the results are going to be incredible. Third thing, and this is huge, multi-phase workflows are becoming native. Right now, if you want AI to do something complex, you have to break it into multiple conversations, research in one chat, analysis in another, final output in a third. That's about to change completely. 
GPT-5 will be able to handle entire workflows in a single conversation, research, analyze, strategize, create, and refine, all in one go. But here's the key. You need to start thinking like a project manager when you prompt. Don't just ask for the end result. Map out the entire process you want it to follow. Say something like, first, research our top five competitors' content strategies. Second, analyze what's working best in our industry. Third, identify gaps in our current approach. Fourth, create a three-month content plan. Fifth, write the first week's worth of content. Sixth, create a tracking system to measure results. That's how you're going to need to think with GPT-5, not just what you want, but the entire journey to get there. Fourth thing, structured output is going to be the baseline. Stop asking for thoughts or ideas. Start demanding scorecards, matrices, tables, phase plans. GPT-5 is going to excel at giving you structured, actionable information, but you have to ask for it specifically. Instead of, what do you think about my marketing strategy? Ask for a comprehensive audit of my marketing strategy with scores from 110 in five key areas, specific recommendations for improvement in each area, a priority matrix showing which changes to make first, and a 90-day implementation timeline. The more structure you demand in the output, the more useful it's going to be. Now, here's something that's going to sound crazy, but it's critical for success with GPT-5. You need to make it ask questions. The best prompts are going to be the ones that expect the AI to be curious, to dig deeper, to challenge your assumptions, end your prompts with something like, what questions do you have about this project that would help you give me better recommendations? GPT-5 is going to be smart enough to identify gaps in your thinking, let it, also, build in self-evaluation loops. Every major prompt should include check your work, validate your recommendations, identify potential problems with this approach. These models are getting access to more and more information. Make them use it to double check everything. Here's another critical point. Force trade-offs and prioritization. Don't let GPT-5 hedge. Don't let it give you wishy-washy answers that try to cover every possibility. Make it choose, make it rank, make it cut things. Say, Give me your top three recommendations, not five or 10. Tell me which one is most important and why. What are we not going to do and why? This teaches the AI to think critically instead of just generating comprehensive lists. Now, here's what Sam Altman said. That should get your attention. He thinks the progress we're going to see from now until 2027 will be more dramatic than everything we've seen in the last two years. Think about that. ChatGPT only came out in late 2022. In two and a half years, we went from having no AI to AI that can write, code, analyze images, and reason through complex problems. And Altman thinks the next two years will be even more dramatic. He also said that within a few years, AI will compress 10 years of scientific progress into one year. We're not just talking about better chatbots, we're talking about AI that can accelerate human knowledge and discovery at an unprecedented pace. But here's what's really wild. Altman suggested that by 2035, any individual could have access to intellectual capacity equivalent to everyone alive today. Read that again. The combined intelligence of every human on earth, available to you personally. That's not science fiction, that's the roadmap from the, the guy building this technology. GPT-5 is gonna be so capable that the bottleneck won't be the technology, it will be human ability to communicate with it properly. But there's something else Sam Altman revealed that I haven't told you yet. He said that GPT-5 won't just be available on the web, it's gonna be integrated everywhere. We're moving toward a world where AI is like electricity. It's not something you go to a specific place to use. It's just there, embedded in everything. Your phone, your computer, your apps, your tools. GPT-5 level intelligence everywhere. That means the skills you learn now for prompting AI aren't just going to help you with chat GPT. They're going to help you with every digital tool you use. The people who master AI communication now are going to have superpowers in a world where AI is everywhere. Now, let me address something that a lot of people are worried about. Yes. GPT-5 is going to be incredibly powerful. Yes, it's going to change how work gets done, but it's not going to replace humans who know how to use it properly. Think of it like this. When spreadsheets were invented, they didn't eliminate accountants, but accountants who mastered spreadsheets became vastly more valuable than those who didn't. A GPT-5 is going to be the same thing, but for every knowledge worker, the opportunity here is enormous, but it's not going to last forever. Right now, most people are still figuring out how to use current AI tools. Most businesses are just starting to experiment. But when GPT-5 drops, there's gonna be a massive acceleration. Here's what I recommend you do right now. Start practicing the techniques I've shown you with current models. Get comfortable with extreme specificity, context loading, multi-phase workflows, and structured outputs. 
These skills are going to transfer directly to GPT-5, but they take time to develop. Don't wait until GPT-5 is released to start learning. Start now. Also, begin thinking about how AI could transform your specific business or role, not just AI could help with content creation. Think specifically about your actual workflows, your real problems, your concrete goals. What would change if you had access to unlimited genius level intelligence that could research, analyze, create, and optimize anything you asked it to? How would your business be different? How would your daily work change? What new opportunities would open up? Start mapping this out now because when GPT-5 arrives, you'll want to hit the ground running. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below and let me know what you're most excited about with GPT-5. Are you ready for AI that's smarter than most humans? What's the first thing you're going to use it for? And if you want to stay ahead of the curve and scale your business with AI automation, check out my AI Profit Boardroom. It's the best place to learn how to use AI to get more customers and save hundreds of hours with automation. I've also got a free SEO strategy session link in the comments and description. If you want to see how AI can transform your marketing and get you more leads, book a call. Plus, we've got an entire SOP and process inside the AI Success Lab. There's a link in the comments and description with over 100 different use cases and tutorials. You can see all the video notes in there, plus access to a community of 13,000 members who are all figuring out how to use AI to build better businesses. Don't get left behind when GPT-5 drops. The future is coming fast and it's going to be incredible for the people who are ready. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.